All right, so let's look at some new commandlets in PowerShell 3. Convert to and convert from JSON. What is JSON? This is a good way to think of JSON. What is a CSV file? A CSV file is just a way to represent data in the format of a table. And lots of programs and programming languages use tables to represent data. It's a very common way of representing data. So CSV files are just a simple format that many programs can use to exchange data with each other because they understand that data but maybe they can't directly communicate with each other. Uh, in the same way that um, when I was traveling through Europe I noticed everybody talked to each other in English but they all had their own languages from their specific countries. So English was just a way for them to easily exchange information with each other because they, you know, you can't interface uh, German with Italian. It's just not going to work. You can go through all the effort of trying to interpret it in, in the same way that you could um, download a website and try to interpret the data, but it's easier to just have a common format uh, that everybody understands. So in the world of programming now, everything is sort of object oriented. So there needs to be a way to efficiently communicate objects between different entities and CSV files aren't really good for that. So one way of doing this is JSON which stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it's basically a methodology for um, interpreting object data. So we have get process here and we're going to um, take get process and we're going to straight up convert it to JSON and then add it to a file and we can just look directly at some JSON. Uh, it's that simple. So I've just created a JSON file from a get process object. So you can see this is a little bit more complicated than a CSV file and it's got lots of stuff, lots of data. Uh, JSON supports uh, data types and arrays and all sorts of things. Um, so here's all the data and I just wanted to quickly show you uh, that JSON is you know it's got its own formatting its own own stuff so you can look that up if you wanna know more about JSON um, but we're gonna focus on the commandlets so that is how you can take an object from within PowerShell and convert it to JSON and then you can send it off to somebody who might need a JSON format uh, but what if you want to import JSON well we have convert from JSON and this adds a lot of, of opportunities uh, within PowerShell and I'm about to show you one of the really cool ways um, that we can utilize JSON. So there's a website called Reddit and uh, it's basically a website about cats and they provide a JSON API to interface with this website because it's, it's essentially um, a a picture sharing comments based website it's really simple stuff it consists of, of text and uh, pictures so they can represent that stuff as a JSON object file so let's look at what that looks like we can go directly to their website and this is this is reddit.com in JSON so you saw the front page all I had to do was add slash dot JSON and it shows me the website in JSON so we can convert this in PowerShell so how do we get this to PowerShell well we just use some other some other little tricks uh, we're using a dot net um, object here called web client which will allow us to download a URI as a string so in this case we're providing it the Reddit URI for their JSON and then we're pipelining it to convert from JSON. So that's really simple. Then we have this object called JSON. So since this is, it started out as a string, but once we use convert from JSON, it turns this into a rich data object and we can look at different properties within this object. So we can see, uh, I guess, they've decided to tell you what kind of the uh, object this is so it's a listing so this is actually um, reddit's configuration they 
they uh, created this object model. So um, what does their API or what does their JSON API provide? It essentially provides the raw um, values that you see on the front page. So we can search through all of these different values from that JSON. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, what we need to do is first dig down inside of where uh, they have structured it. So in data, children, um, item, zero, we can see there's another data. So this is the first post on reddit.com, I believe. So we can look for the title. Where's the title? Title, okay, my life. So let's see, you can see the first one is my life. And we have 93 comments. Uh, we have their, the link it sends you to, it's subreddit, uh, when it was submitted, all the likes. So all that information can now be seen here. And that's really all you need. If you want to see the URL, if you want to see the title to know what it's about, um, the permalink takes you to all the uh, comments. So you can get a synopsis of what's going on on the Reddit front page just by searching through this data. Um, and that's all I wanted to show you. So let's, well, I'll just show you real quick the keys. Um, I've organized everything so that uh, if you run keys, it just displays everything on the front page. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you is the new um, convert to and convert from JSON commandlets in PowerShell 3. Um, I, I think it, it adds a, a lot of really cool abilities to PowerShell. Um, and there was some uh, modules or extensions I think you could use before to add this functionality, but now they're built directly into PowerShell. And you can do really cool stuff like uh, browse Reddit at work without your boss knowing. You could, you know, be like, yeah, I'm knee deep in code. I'm just trying to, you know, figure out where this string is over here and search stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching.